Cheeky Palette, I almost missed out on this great show because I prejudged it. Been binge watching Cheeky Palette because of episode 6 from season 1. It's an interesting show, which I almost didn't watch because I don't care for Fat Joe at all. I am learning new things and some people have actually shocked me. If you want to preserve your innocence, then this show is not for you. Episode 5 reminded me of Mrs. Satole from Pop Ho Po. She attended one of our HCBC training courses e-mission center and the things that she discovered there shocked her and made her cry. I still feel guilty that she lost her innocence at one of my training courses. She was in her late 60s by then. May she rest in peace. I am also learning about people's real lives, for example the chef Lensway Bengu is from a polygamous family in KZN. I have always assumed that he was from Cape Town, person shrugging, brown skin, I like how polygamy has been so normalized in recent years. Babnib explained how the Mavelises came up with the concept and how it was matriarchal in its origin. It was an interesting and educational episode. The adoption episode reminded me of 2008 and how I wanted to adopt twin boys, but it wasn't to be. 2008 was a hard year for me emotionally. Mzawa made me snap out of it in a way that only she could get me to do it. That one can very easily gather me together. Aki Dukatatum. I want to suggest this show to certain people. If you get a show max link in your inbox, just know that you are one of the certain people. Apostrophe. Ciao.